Start from the north in Kuti Tree. This is one of the oldest protected areas in the country. It was established in 1984. It is the lagoon that is protected. This site is a Ramsar site, so it is also vitally important as an internationally recognized wetland. Hurricane Lisa, uh, I put this here right after maintenance and upkeep because Hurricane Lisa did impact several sites um, that we managed. It impacted Hakuruki, our main office, um, St. Herman's and Guanacaste. Um, St. Herman's and Guanacaste. So today we're celebrating the 54th annual general meeting of the Belize Audubon Society. We're hosting it at the beautiful Crooked Tree Village today, um, one of the first wildlife sanctuaries in the country, designated in 1984. And today we basically come together to celebrate the work of the society that was completed in 2022. We did a little recap of the year, uh, looked at our finances, and endorsed our slate of board. Today, the village is hosting the first day of the Cashew Fest once again, so there's added cultural activities to enjoy. I join Darius, and on behalf of the staff and board of directors, to welcome you to the annual general meeting for 2023. I've been president for a while now, but um, as I said earlier, we're still in that process of recovery after COVID-19. That set us back for about two years when we had to reduce operations, but more so our operations depend on the funding from entrants and from grantees. And they, as part of the global economy, also suffered. So what happened to them affected us in the long run. So we, like some organizations, our staff took pay cuts, cut in time and all that kind of thing. So two years after the fact, we're now approaching some degree of full operations, but the finances are not there. The visitations are not what was expected, and even when they come in now, they are going for a different package. So it's very good that we are able to have an annual general meeting. Since 2019, we didn't have a face-to-face -face one. And as usual, getting into one of the parks helped people to renew that commitment. We therefore look forward to expanding on what we shared today. And as usual, Crooked Tree is an excellent place to experience nature. All right, we're going to take our board members um, for a short little birding. Um, this time of year is a, very, is a very, very time for you to come and see the birds. The water level is low um, and you would get much easier for you to see the birds. Um, for example, the Jabu stock is easy to see. The Great Blue Heron is easy to see and lots more other birds. Okay, my name is Ngozi. Yes, I have really have a lot of fun with the Audubon Society and I joined the Audubon Society in 2009. And from since 2009, I have been going to different AGM and different activities in different areas, part of Belize. And um, at first, I didn't know the booby birds, what, they, what their feet look like, but I have seen it um, live now. And through the Audubon Society, I also learned about the different birdings that we have, different kind of birds. And it has really been exciting and encouraging. It encouraged me to do more. And uh, being a tour guide, it also helped me to be able to expand my knowledge in sharing the information with different um, tourists that come to Belize. And it's been a joy and been a lot of fun to be able to share this information with them. And I enjoy it very much and I'll continue being a part of the Audubon Society and I always encourage others to be a part of it.